Danny, it's late heartache here at Morecambe, opening day defeat. How do you assess that game? Uh, yeah, devastated. Um, I think uh, second half we controlled it. Um, we just couldn't get that second goal and then uh, to concede late on like that on the opening day, it's, uh, it is hard to take, but we've, we've got to learn from that and uh, move forward now. That's it. Plenty to take from the game. There's positives, but a lot to learn from. So is it quite a lot for the boys to digest? Yeah, I think there's a lot of people that are um, a bit down at this moment in time. You don't want to lose on the opening day, and, uh, especially in the manner that we ended up doing it. I think um, there's a lot of uh, lads that are a bit gutted in there, but um, no, we've got to turn up Monday and put things right next yeah. week. So the team fell from behind as well, but battled really well to, to come back and get that equaliser as well. Yeah, I think we said um, during the week that we wanted to score more counter-attacking goals and uh, yeah, we didn't want to be behind. Uh, it's come from a throw in and they've counter-attacked through and uh, scored. Um, luckily, we've counter-attacked through it, um, straight at the other end. Um, the referee's played advantage and have gone through and slid under the keeper. Absolutely, it was yourself getting that goal. As a striker at any level of football, how important is it to, to score on the opening day and you know straight away that's not lingering over you've got that first goal yeah especially being a goal scorer like myself um, and there's a lot of um, from last year when I scored uh, I put pressure on myself coming back and want to score goals again um, obviously I've done it in the first friendly and I always want to get that first goal and start of the season and um, I've got that now and I can put that behind me and uh, move forward into the season have you found the sort of pre-season period for yourself obviously you started really well didn't you, you got the goal against Leamington and Aston Villa then obviously you had that time off you know yeah. with your, your family as well but you've come back in this week had a good training week got yourself a goal so how have you sort of found the last six weeks if you like yeah no it's been really good uh, credit to, the, um, to Callum um, he's done brilliant uh, get me right um, obviously I had a few weeks running uh, a few games and then I've had to have the, the little break in between so that's been stop start for myself but I've had a full week training and uh, delighted I managed to get 90 minutes in the legs uh, on the first day of the season that's it, there's not much time to ponder on this one, is there? Straight back into action on Tuesday against Blackburn Rovers. Different different competition and different test in the championship side. Do you think that'll do the team good at the minute? Yeah, um, there's no pressure there. They're a championship, championship side and the pressure's all on them. Uh, we've just got to, to rock up and spoil their day and um, hopefully get a positive result and get through to the next round and then take that into Stockport next weekend. I think it could act as a, a really good spring ball, you know, could be a confidence with going there, testing yourselves against championship opposition, you know, could that help, you know, raise the game as well? Yeah, definitely, you're going to be playing against better players, um, you want to put on a show, uh, playing against uh, those type of clubs, so, um, no, it's a little bit of a distraction from the league and we can uh, go there, enjoy the day, uh, put on a performance and um, take that into the next, back into the league. Finally from me, um, 1,327 Saddlers fans, outstanding effort from them and they made a lot of noise throughout the game didn't they? Yeah they were brilliant um, from the get go, it um, wasn't nice weather up here today but um, no, they've, uh, they've backed us today and um, just a shame we didn't get the result for them in the end.